Happy Monday morning, guys. Today is a day that I will be listing 10 VHS box journals in the shop. <clears throat> I have six of them that are just generic um, blank VHS boxes for, you know, recording on a VCR, um, home movies and things like that. And then four, which I'll show in a second, are actual sleeves from movies or TV shows from um, the 80s and 90s. So all of them are basically about the same uh, inside. Um, they all have the same sort of components. The journal measures seven and a fourth inches tall by about four inches wide. And all of them have right at one inch spine. They have two signatures. Each signature has 15 pages, so 30 sheets. Um, so that'd be 60, 60 sheets of writing space through the whole journal. And they are all lined with uh, cardstock for bolstering with pockets sewn in and uh, a corresponding pattern. And then I just tucked several items throughout, some ephemera. Uh, there are no pockets inside the journal. I wanted these to be very minimal. So the only two pockets um, are on the front and the back cover. Uh, the ephemera inside is either taped down with washi tape so you can easily remove it and do what you'd like with it or paper clipped to the top of the page. So all of them have been sewn around the edges for reinforcement as well with a coordinating um, thread or contrasting thread. <clears throat> I'll just flip through one or two of them just to give you a brief idea of what's inside. We have a library card here. This is a vintage um, flash card. I'm trying to remember the brand. I think it's called the Scribbler. See and know um, flash card. Brand. We have some rainbow writing paper. Each uh, journal has two sheets of vintage gift wrap from the 80s or 90s. <clears throat> Children's book pages from that era. So this is from Gremlins. Colored filler paper. Scrapbook end cuts. Kool-Aid dyed paper. There's another flashcard. Well, not flashcard. This is actually a game that was made by the creators of UNO, I believe. We have tracing paper, um, a piano book, a piano um, tutorial book for a child. Like I said, lots of writing space in these. <clears throat> Care Bears coloring page. And so basically that's the, you'll see the repeat of everything through the first signature. In the second signature, uh, we have a few, um, a few of them have some pieces of ephemera of ads that were found inside of the VHS boxes that I have obtained. Very dyed paper again. This is from a Cabbage Patch book, another gift wrap piece. Hello Kitty coloring book. This is, uh, each journal has a brayered paint page with bright colors. This is a card game called Hearts. Each of them has a Barbie trading card. These came out in 1990 and 91. And we have a Toy Story playing card and a guest check. So all of these, like I said, are pretty much the same as far as components. You, you know, obviously it will differ in exact colors used. I, I did not go with a theme other than try to stick with mainly 80s and 90s um, nostalgic type things for people who grew up during that decade or had children that were little then. This one is more 90s. The other ones are a little older, I think, but I sort of went with a purple and red theme with the inside of this one. Uh, this one has a 
Where's Waldo page? Sertron. And another pole, this one with blue. So these will just be listed in the shop as, like for instance, this will be Polaroid pink or Sartron orange, or, you know, I'll try, I'll try to list the, the brand name as well as the liner because a couple of them are duplicates with a different color liner in it. Charlie Brown. There's some pages from the Wuzzles in some of these and Berenstain Bears. Rainbow Bright, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all that's covered. And then here are the four that are actual movies or shows. So these will be in the shop as well. Um, these will be, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do separate listings for all of them, probably not. This will probably be one listing with a drop-down choice box and this will be another listing with a drop-down choice box. So this is Jurassic Park. And this one has a little more of a yellow, red, black and white vibe to it. But the inside pages, again, are very similar to the others. They're just very colorful and similar in scope. And there are a few pages in, in this one of uh, Magic School Bus because they obviously went back in time with the dinosaurs. And then this is Richard Scary Busy Town. Um, my kids watched this even though it was older than them. They were showing reruns when they were little. So this one has a little more of a summery theme. There's Pound Puppies, Dr. Seuss. I think there's a couple with Sesame Street pages in here too. Yep, so that's that one. And then Care Bears. Sunshine Bear, The Great Race. This is a little more pastel, bright pastels. And the last one is Mrs. Doubtfire. And this one is a little, little, I try to do a similar light color theme and this one has red and blue because that's the colors that mainly were on the color. So that's these. These will be in the shop uh, by late this afternoon. And also wanted to let everyone know that I will be starting today a spring, sh spring sale in my shop. Select journals will be on sale. Uh, even though it doesn't show when you add things to the cart more than one, um, I do combine shipping. Um, there's not an extremely easy way to do that through Etsy. So if you do want two journals, you can either message me first before buying and I will do a combined listing, or you can just go ahead and order both and I will refund you the shipping for all of them except the, you know, the main um, shipping price for the journal that you have, the highest price item or whatever I should say. So yeah, the spring sale is just to clear some space in my shop to allow more journals to be listed. I plan on working on some sewing journals in the next couple of weeks and um, I have some other ideas in mind. So yes, please head over and check that out and tell others about the shop. And if there's any ideas that you have for um, themes or, or types of journals that you'd like to see, let me know. I thought these would be a little fun and a little something different. They were definitely a challenge. The shape of them and the size of the pages was not typical for me, so it was a little bit too hard, hard to get my head around, but I did enjoy working on them. The bright colors made me happy and brought back memories for me. So I hope you guys enjoy these. Head over to the shop to check out the sale and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.